Hello paper crafters. I have a new video for you showing some new Marianne creatables that I have for sale. Um, some of you have ordered these dies already and are, have expressed that they are one of your favorite sets ever. And others of you have said you want to wait to see what the design team comes up with. The designer who chose this release is Kathy Lynn Kalsevic and she did a fabulous job. I will show you in this video what she made. The first die I'm showing for sale in this collection is LR0211. And then that is called, I believe, the Lord and Lady die. And it's, it, it's a little bit different than the others. The others are a definite set, but I thought it went well with the Victorian theme of it. So the next one is this border die right here, and this is LR0212, and it is the border, rose border frame, and it's very beautiful. We have the next one right here, that is LR0213, and this is the medallion type one of the set. The next one is this big, beautiful corner. It is number LR0214, and it's got the roses here with all the lattice work around it, beautiful. And then we have the last one in the set, another corner, but a smaller one this time, and that is LR0215. And you can see in the center here is a rose bud. So I gave this, and um, Kathy Lynn did a great job. She made this first card, and it's a nice, big, poofy, dimensional, I'll show you there, kind of card. It's just gorgeous. And I'm just going to pan out a little bit so you can kind of there. All right. Now, what she said is her first project is... Um, on brown cardstock with the cherished charm on the front and there's the cherished charm she knew this is a pretty odd shape but she loved the texture and elegance of the card and she used brown pearlized cardstock by the paper studio and it does have a, a pearl sheen to it you can kind of see it there when the light catches it on the front she used the Marianne Creatables um, Anja Rose Corner LRO 214 and that's that beautiful um, larger corner. She used two of them. So when she folded these over, and she she may give directions on her blog or if you contact her by her blog on how to do this, but it is a tri-fold card. I'll open that up and show you. And you make the corners here where the, the tips would meet on uh, by making this a diamond. And she said they are three layers thick, and that's what gives them such a thick embossed impair appearance. And you can just see that looking at those, how nicely and thick that does look. And it strengthens the card too in those areas. So you can just kind of see, and there it catches the embossing on it too. And then the Cherished Charm is from Making Memories. And she distressed the edges of the card with Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And this is a Spellbinders die. I do not sell that. I do not sell Spellbinders. I don't sell this either. What I'm selling in this is the Marianne products. But most of you who follow know what I sell and I don't sell. But I never stop my designers from adding any embellishment or item they want to their card. That's not what these videos are about. It's about um, showing what can be done with the products I sell. And of course you have to use other products. I can't sell everything, nor do I want to, and yet do I use other products? Of course. So it's just silly to me to say to them they can only use what I sell. So we open it up, and there's Velcro here. And what she said, she used clear Velcro, and she colored it with Copic markers, kind of making it blend in to the card, which is very clever. Now I'm going to turn your attention to the inside of this beautiful card. And she said the lovely border on the top and the bottom 
of the card is the Creatables LR0212, it's the rose border. And then the center is the Marianne Lord and Lady die. And that is number LR0211. See how beautifully that cuts out? And beside them is a Marianne Creatables Rose Centerpiece. These right here that she cut in half. So she took um, this die right here, remember that? And she cut it in half and put half here and half there. And then she used um, the papers are lost and found from my mind's eye, Wausau paper, Astro Parch. And she distressed these too with Tim Holtz inks. The flowers were from her stash and the leaves are from CC Designs. The stamps are from Prima and Studio 112 and she also used the Perfect Pearl pen. And over on this side she left the medallion open and I would imagine that's where you could sign and over here it says dreams do come true this is a spellbinders die do not have that for sale just in case you're wondering so with this she made this uh, either a wedding or anniversary or a special love card she had um, that was her intention and she said she had a lot of fun with these dies and I just want to show you how nice they emboss. It's, it's hard to catch that, but I'm just showing you. There is no embossing on the Lord and Lady. They're just plain cut silhouettes. And then just how pretty that is, those roses there. All right, on to card number two. This one's beautiful too. And I'm not going to mess this up. Poor Kathy Lynn on the um, last video I made of hers, I, I made two big boo-boos. And one of them was I didn't even take a card that was sl to slide out out I had tried and it, it had stuck I think with the the very humid weather we had had it just loosened the glue the hot humid weather and it stuck and I didn't dare rip it but it was meant to come out like I originally thought so this time I'll make sure I pull this out for you let me do that right now and you can just see how beautiful and I will get up to close to that and show this but let me see tell you what she said she used very, very little extra embellishments because she wanted to focus on the beautiful embossed Anja Rose die cuts. Her design papers are kancestry.com designer paper and plain textured cardstock. One on the front of the card, she used Marianne Creatables LRO215, that's the small rose corner right here. And then she also used the rose border, LRO2112. That's this and this. And then she said that the rose centerpiece is LRO213. And that's this lovely medallion. And then you can kind of see how, how beautiful that cuts with all the lace and the beautiful floral, floral in the center. She used Recollection Pearls, that's these, the pearls right there. Um, Tim Holtz Distressed Inks in Tattered Rose, I would believe that would be that. And Vintage Photo, that's that brown. And Fired Brick, which is probably more this little darker color here. Uh, she sewed the layers with her sewing machine. And I'm gonna draw that up at the close. I do not sew, that's why I sew love the ladies that design for me. They can bring so much that I can't bring to the table here. I don't sew at all. So you can see she sewed that with her sewing machine and attached it. And she had the Anja Rose centerpiece. This is a double cut again that she glued together to give it uh, strength again. And by that I think she means it, it, it gets, it's, if you have not as thick cardstock and you don't want to cut out really thick cardstock with your machine because you're afraid you might crack your plates or it's a little bit hard for you on your arms. You can. She's using two less thick cardstocks and, and putting them together to make a super thick cardstock, and that's a great idea. And the sentiment stamps are from Studio G, and there's the sentiments are remember to stop and smell the roses. And then this sentiment is, if I had a flower for every time I thought of you, I would walk in my garden forever. 
and then there's some roses here. And also one of these um, stamp sets was made by Stamping, stampingscrapping.com. Um, that's Cindy Etchna. Hi Cindy if you're watching this. Um, Cindy is a lovely lady and I I do promote her products so um, if you're wondering where to get those stamps I would think this is Cindy's and that might be the other one um, the um, the uh, Studio G but I'm not positive it could be the other way around I'm not sure and the inside once again um, she used the antique pearl gemstone brad and that's this and I'll bring that up close to show you how beautiful that brad is and that is from spare parts by paper studio with pearls again from recollection and here's some of the pearls and she said that she also colored the roses with Tim Holtz distress pens and you can see in there the color now I wanted to point that inside the card what I'm going to do is just to show you the full effect here. These are the big Anja Rose corners, the LRO214. And she took four of these and put them on, um, almost looks square, but not quite. And she put them um, side to side, and over here she overlapped them a little bit and it made this beautiful kind of frame around the sentiment. And that's a really nice idea. And that's what's nice about corner dies is that you can do so much and make so many different things with them. Another fun thing to do with corner dies, and people forget this all the time, is cut out four. People always think to make frames. What people don't think to do is take the four and put them, it's hard for me, I don't have a cut thing, but let me grab the die itself. You have this die here face that way and then you would put this one here face it that way and then another one here and you would face it this way and you have a beautiful medallion and that one that way and with the four you have gorgeous medallions don't forget to do that with your corner dies they make gorgeous medallions and this card is just great i love anything that has kind of a, a different way to it. So a pull-out card or things that involve movement in a card, any kind of kinetic. I know pulling out something isn't terribly kinetic compared to things that can flip and fold, but I just like it better. And this is, it's like the envelope in the card in one. And, and um, the back is she just labeled it and stamped it. But what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful card. And again, I'll just bring that up close so you can see how nicely those cut and that delicate lace they make and the intricate designs. And then the last card really shows the beauty of the embossing and cutting and just plain. I am a plain person. I like plain and crisp. That's why, again, it is so nice to have my design team because you would surely get sick of seeing all my cards in the same way. This is plain textured cardstock and pearlized black cardstock. The lace and gems are by Recollections. And there we go with those. Those are so pretty. I think Michael sells Recollections too, so save your coupons if you like that. All stamps are from Just Right Wedding Nested Sentiments. And we all know what a fan I am of Just Right. Just Right is one of the few stamp companies I do carry. I love their stamps. And there we go for, for the special couple. Look how nice that stamps, how crisp and clean. That, that is really a nice stamp. And then she used the front of the card. She used Anja Rose Border right here. And then she used the Anja Centerpiece right here. Now that's not cut out into a window. It's cut out and then put onto another cardstock to give that embossed look. This is plain textured cardstock, card, card stock, and pearlized black cardstock. And um, again, I already said that. And just to point out, if you're looking for the black, it's behind the special couple. And inside the card, 
is that beauty. Now you can see the black pearlized where she used it. She used um, pearlized black cardstock here and here, and plain black cardstock, which right here is the plain black, and CNS and K and Company Elegance Design Paper, which I think is behind this window here and here. She used a Spellbinders die here and a Cuddlebug Damask Embossing Folder here. That, that's a nice touch. Don't forget to pull out your embossing, car, um, embossing folders for elegant cards. Now, she used another embossing folder. These are those special Marianne designables that cut and emboss. You can see here where it cuts and there it embosses. That's number DS0916. That was one of the last ones I released, and they are for sale on my blog. So you can go there. I'm just trying to show you the cutting and the embossing, and then just how nice the Lord and Lady cut out. Which brings that to the Lord and Lady. That's LRO211, which is for sale on this release. And this is also a Just Right stamp, Mr. and Mrs. And again, I just want to show you, I, I can't say enough about Just Right stampers, how, how crisp and clean they, they stamp. Um, and this is just a beautiful card, and it says, May your days be filled with love and laughter today, forever, after, forever after. Just beautiful. And this would make such a nice card. And again, I want to bring this up close to show the detail of the embossing and the cutting and the elegance of just the card. Now this was probably the easiest for Kathy Lynn to make and it's my favorite but again I told you I tend to lean towards crisp clean lines that's where that's my style and what's nice is now you have the idea of how to take these dies and make your own creations and go forward with them. That's why I have the design team create so you can not be afraid of the dies or not know what to do with them. So now you have your basic idea of what to do. Run with it and make some beautiful cards. Please visit my blog for pricing information. Please follow my blog, blog for updates and ordering information, prices, and any kind of news that I may have if I'm gone for a few days or if I'm not around. It'll be on my blog. So take care everyone. Hope you're all preparing for summer. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye-bye.